What's going on, brother? <laughs> Donuts Motor Works Limited Sportsman, one and only heat tonight. You're going to find the uh, 33. This is how they're scheduled to go. 33 of Allen McDonald on point alongside of Keegan Nyer in the 34, row number 2, Owen Nyer in the 17. With the winner of the last two weeks, Paul DeRutter in car number 1D, and Cole Perry making his return with us in car number 23 out of Belleville, Ontario. So this is the final heat race of the night here at can am as uh, feature action will be taking place after our intermission which will be coming up right after this qualifying heat event the one and only for the donath motor works limited sportsman paul de Rutter leads the way with four heat wins on the season has also won the last two weeks in feature competition would like to keep that going green lights are on and away we go Keegan Nyer to the lead, Alan McDonald, who usually chooses to start at the back of the field. He tried his hand at starting up front today, and he's holding right in there in the top five as he works it down the back straightaway. In the meantime, Keegan Nyer with the lead. Here comes Paul DeRutter on that outside lane, and DeRutter trying to take over the lead as he hit the front straightaway at lap number one. It's Keegan Nyer out by half a car length into turn number one. Paul DeRutter. The Inlet New York native working that outside lane. Keegan Nyer trying to hold him at bay. Not much he can do about it as the yellow flag is out. Car spun over there. It's Joey Wilcox in between turns one and two. The yellow lights are on. This is the ninth heat race overall in 2022 for the uh, Donath Motor Works Limited Sportsman. As we mentioned, Paul DeRutter leads all drivers with four heat wins on the year. Keegan and Owen Nyer each have two heat wins apiece. One lap is complete. Feature winners so far this year with the Donath Motor Works Limited Sportsman. It was Owen Nyer on May the 6th, Cole Perry on May 13th, Keegan Nyer on May the 20th, Rain on June 3rd, Owen Nyer for win number two of the season on June the 10th, and then Paul DeRutter took over on June 17th, and on July the 8th they were off during the PAP shootout night on June 29th. One lap complete. Five more to go. Keegan Nyer and Paul DeRutter back to green and we're underway. And a one and two. There were three wide for a moment. It was Owen Nyer picking up the lead from the bottom, but Paul DeRutter has a way of making that outside lane work and he shows the way down the back stretch. Owen Nyer now second, Keegan Nyer back to third, Joe Trichillo on that outside lane, the North Syracuse native going after Cole Perry for position number four as they work it back to the line of Paul DeRutter well in command as they head down into turn number one. Owen Nyer and Keegan Nyer second and third, the top three starting to pull away from the rest of the field as they hit the back stretch. Joe Trichillo is still fourth, Cole Perry, Joey Wilcox, and Alan McDonald is your running order as they come back to the stripe this time by in the Buzz 2 Chevrolet number one, Paul DeRutter bringing it off the turn. He's got Owen Nyer closing the gap right there with him, though. Nyer down low. Paul DeRutter said in victory lane last week, he said these Nyer kids are really, really good. And Owen Nyer trying to show it here as he hit the back straight away into turn number three and four. DeRutter still content to run that middle to outside lane. Owen Nyer likes to keep it right down against the infield uke tires as they bring it across the stripe. With two laps left to go, it's still Paul DeRutter in control. Owen and Keegan Nyer, second and third. Joe Trichillo, Cole Perry, your top five. Then it's Joey Wilcox and Alan McDonald completing it. But Paul DeRutter has been dominant here in the last few weeks. Leads the way down on the inside portion of the racetrack. He'll drift it through the middle and right up against the wall. Down the front straightaway. White flag in the air for Paul DeRutter. 
looking for his division leading fifth heat win of 2022 down the back straightaway final time into turn number three and a four paul de rutter holding about a four car length advantage over owen nyer and keegan nyer back to third it looks like that's how they're going to finish it's going to be paul de rutter picking up the victory second spot will go to owen nyer third will be keegan nyer fourth to joe tricillo and cole perry gets the number five spot in the 23 and then it's joey wilcox and alan mcdonald in that order